Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom professionals. I'm Carl Sketchley, and joining me today is Rebecca Gilstrap, Senior Director of Strategy for Legrand's Data Power and Control Division. Rebecca, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks for having me, Carl. I'm happy to be here, and I love this topic. Yeah, pleasure to have you on. So, artificial intelligence. AI is the buzzword everywhere right now. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone's excited for what it can do. But what makes all this AI magic possible behind the scenes? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. The AI Ready Data Center and what it takes to build facilities that can handle the demands of AI and adapt to this rapidly evolving tech space. So, Rebecca, first question from me. As the demand for AI-driven applications continues to grow, what are some of the key challenges that operators face when designing and deploying AI-ready data centers? Yeah, yeah. Carl, I've, um, I've been in the industry <laughs> coming close to 20 years, and we still have the foundation where it's power, pipe, and ping. How are we getting power, pipe, and ping and utilizing it and making sure that it's up and running? So, you know, AI has just exasperated that we want it faster, we want more, you know, and it still has to be reliable, right? We still have to have a trusted infrastructure, a solid, robust, trusted infrastructure uh, to be able to run these platforms because, again, they're becoming more and more important and that infrastructure is becoming more and more important. So Fascinating. So how would you say your company's infrastructure solutions address these challenges? Mm -hmm. Well, we're a leader in many of the most important power uh, categories uh, in the market. Uh, our Starline uh, brand of overhead busway and also our Raritan and server tech PDUs. I mean, Legrand has a robust, uh, I would say, history and uh, uh, brand identity. We've had, you know, data center users that um, have been loyal to us and that we have grown with them and they have grown with us and that we have been partners in building the infrastructure that is the basis, you know, um, of design. And, and even from an AI perspective, you know, that critical infrastructure. So we've been trusted partners. People have looked to us from a power perspective. They look to us for our cabinets, uh, our enclosures, uh, containment, rear heat exchange doors, uh, connectivity, KVMs, all of that, again, critical infrastructure that's really the closest to that AI infrastructure where they are supporting our customers. And, and in many cases, even co-developing with them, you know, as those densities and requirements change and become even more intense and critical. Amazing. Sounds like you've got quite the uh, portfolio breadth there. Um, but, you know, coming back to the topic of AI ready data centers, it's not just new data centers, is it? It's also about retrofitting existing data centers to support those intensive demands of AI applications. And I think it can be quite a daunting task. So, how would you say? Your products help those data center operators reconfigure their existing facilities um, quickly mm. and efficiently. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people are, because of the buzz that we have around AI, people are, are maybe mistakenly looking at this like all or nothing kind of view on how to go about that infrastructure. And I think the truth is, is that there's a, a heterogeneous approach that you can take to it. And you're so right. There are things that you can do, uh, depending on the instance, right? But to retrofit environments that you have and to have specific product selection that's going to help you use the infrastructure that you have and grow into um, a, a more robust infrastructure to support AI. People are talking about being able to have to segment that out and be able to, uh, to essentially have uh, areas of the data center where you're dedicating that. And that, again, that comes down to product selection. So making sure that you have products that are able to handle the densities, right? So again, a lot of people are, are trusting us and using our uh, 
PDUs are rack intelligent PDUs because of the information that they're able to get from these intelligent PDUs. And with that information, they're able to have better control over their environment. So they actually know what's going on. And again, they can scale in um, a more holistic way and have, again, more control over that environment. Let's talk about another big name for a second in the AI space, which is NVIDIA. Um, <laughs> and in doing the research to talk to you um, today, Rebecca, I realized that your company's products are featured in NVIDIA's reference guide for their uh, DGX SuperPod systems. So can you tell us a bit more about how your infrastructure solutions complement um, NVIDIA systems? <laughs> uh, well, you have a good eye, Carl. <laughs> you have a very good eye. Um, what I can say is that, you know, we we do. We, we work with some of the leading um, AI uh, leaders in the industry and are part of the backbone and the the power infrastructure to help support the densities that are needed to be able to run such robust platforms. And again, that comes back to customer int intimacy and customer co-development um, and having, again, a rich history in understanding what those densities need to look like and you know, thinking creatively about how we're going to make that happen in, in the form factors that we have existing in the data center, going back to the retrofit you know, question, but also what is that going to look like in the future for the greenfield builds? An example of this is we had a we had an integrator that they were just had so much pressure on them in terms of how fast they could turn around uh, pre-populated cabinets to their customer for a very large and critical AI deployment, and we were able to work with the integrator again that level of customer intimacy and understanding of what their goals were and what they were trying to accomplish, we help them decrease their AI platform time to launch by 66%. And wow. so it's, it's again, it's, it's working with our customers to understand what their goals are and what they're trying to achieve, but also having that history and understanding how critical these environments are. Fascinating. Well, Thank you so much for your time here, Rebecca. It was a pleasure to have you on and to talk about this exciting topic. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.